Have you ever thought about the impact that you can have on others? Sometimes we might think we're insignificant, like this small little pebble. But when we think about it, a small pebble like this can create ripples that continue to spread outward. It's amazing how something so small can have such a large impact on the space around it. We can impact those around us when we share about Christ. So come join me and let's learn about that together in this video. It's that time again, it's game time, and today we will be playing Sink or Float, a game where we will have multiple objects and you will have to guess if it sinks or if it floats. I'm interested to see how good you are at guessing, so let's find out. Do you guys think a pineapple is gonna sink or do you guys think it's gonna float? Three, two, one. It floats! Alright, you guys have all used glue before. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's going to sink or do you guys think it's going to float? Three, two, one. I'll float it instantly. Alright. What about a book, people? Do you guys think it's gonna sink or do you guys think it's gonna float? It floats. I think that's 
waterproof too. The pages are barely even wet. All right, have you guys ever seen a walkie-talkie before? They're often used in spy movies. They're kind of cool. Do you guys think it's gonna sink or do you guys think it's gonna float? I thought that was gonna sick. All right, we have a tablet here. Do you guys think this tablet is gonna sink or do you guys think it's gonna float? Put in your answers. And I got splashed. It sinks. The water is so cold. What about an egg? Do you guys think this egg is gonna sink or is it gonna float? It sinks. All right, this is my favorite fruit. Do you guys think a mango is gonna sink or do you guys think it's gonna float? I feel like it's having a hard time to sign. Oh, nope, it's floating. But very barely, like if I push it. All right, apples. Do you guys think an apple sinks or do you think it floats? Put in your answers. It floats. Ooh. Thanks for playing Sink or Float, everyone. Get ready to hear why water is important in just a second. We have been learning about what God commands us to do. Our big idea says this. Why does God command Christians to tell others about Jesus? We tell others about Jesus so they will hear and believe in him. When we tell others about Jesus, we may think that we'll sink in fear or rejection, or we may think that they have already heard the good news. The truth is everyone needs to hear the good news. So what does that look like for us? Well, in our story today, we'll be learning about a man named Philip who shared the good news to an Ethiopian man. Let's watch our story to find out more. An angel of the Lord told Philip, a follower of Jesus, to go to a desert road between Jerusalem and Gaza. So Philip went. On the road was a man from Ethiopia. He was an important official to the queen of Ethiopia. The man had come to worship in Jerusalem, and now he was on his way home. He sat in his chariot, reading aloud the words of the prophet Isaiah. The Holy Spirit told Philip to go to the chariot. So Philip ran up to him. Do you understand what you are reading? Philip asked the man. The official replied, How can I, unless someone explains it to me? He invited Philip into his chariot, and Philip sat with him. The official was reading these words from Isaiah. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter. And as a lamb is silent before its shearer, so he does not open his mouth. He was treated unfairly, and his life is taken away. The official asked, was Isaiah talking about himself or someone else? Isaiah was talking about the Messiah. So Philip began to tell the man the good news about Jesus, beginning with the words they had just read together. As they traveled down the road, they came to some water. What would keep me from being baptized? The official asked. Then the official told the chariot to stop. He and Philip went down into the water and Philip baptized him. When they came up out of the water, 
the Holy Spirit took Philip away to another town, where he continued to travel and preach the gospel. The official went home, and he was very happy. The Holy Spirit led Philip to help the Ethiopian official understand the good news about Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for our sins and was raised from the dead, just like the Old Testament prophets said. In our story, Philip helped an Ethiopian man who needed help understanding what he was reading. Philip took this opportunity God had given him to share the good news about Jesus. The eunuch asked Philip, tell me, was the prophet talking about himself or someone else? So beginning with this same scripture, Philip told him the good news about Jesus. As they rode along, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, there's some water. Why can't I be baptized? He ordered the carriage to stop, and they went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. Acts chapter 8, 34 through 38. Philip was faithful to make a disciple, baptize him, and teach him God's word. We are called to go out and share the gospel. As we go, God will lead us to people who need to hear the good news so that they can believe in Jesus and be saved from their sins. Have you ever tried to blow up a balloon? It's not too hard, but I have a challenge for you. If you have an empty two liter bottle at home, try to see if you can blow up a balloon inside of it. When you try to blow up a balloon in the bottle, you'll find out that it's impossible. Similarly, sometimes we may deem sharing the good news to be a tough task. Maybe we're too scared to try it, or maybe we think they've already heard the news. The truth is, many people don't know about Jesus, or they may find the Bible confusing. Thankfully, we know that when we obey God, the Holy Spirit works through us. The Holy Spirit has the power to give us the right words, even if we think we can't tell the gospel clearly. And this task that seems to be too hard or impossible becomes easier with His guidance. You can read through our story in Acts chapter 8, verses 29 through 40. Afterwards, pray together as a family. Ask God to help you be obedient to go and share the good news to those who need to hear. Thanks for watching, everyone. Come back next week to hear how Jesus suffered for us.